this is the heart. The, this is the right side of the heart. This is the left side of the heart. The pointy part of the heart is called the apex of the heart. The heart has got four chambers. This is the right atrium. This is the left atrium. This is the right ventricle. And this is the left ventricle. When we look at the blood vessels to the heart, this large blue blood vessel is the superior vena cava, and it's bringing blood into the right atrium. Down here, we have got the inferior vena cava, also bringing blood into the right atrium. This is the right ventricle. Blood leaves the right ventricle through this blue blood vessel called the pulmonary artery. This is an artery, but it's blue. Blood is going to go to the lungs, and when it comes back, it's going to come back to the left atrium. And it comes back through these four red blood vessels. These two here, and these two over here. All four of these are pulmonary veins. They're red, but they're veins. The pulmonary veins bring blood into the left atrium. From there, it'll go into the left ventricle. And when it leaves the left ventricle, it'll go out through there, and it goes into the aorta. Now, when it comes to understanding the heart, you need to know the names of the valves. The name of the valve between the right atrium and the right ventricle, this valve is called the tricuspid valve. This is the tricuspid valve. The tricuspid valve is attached to these muscles here. These muscles are called papillary muscles, and the valve is attached to the papillary muscles by these fibrous cords that are called chordae tendinae. Blood is going to leave the right ventricle and go into the pulmonary trunk, which becomes the pulmonary arteries, and it's going to leave through the pulmonary valve. Okay. Now, blood is going to come back to the heart through the pulmonary veins into the left atrium, and it goes from the left atrium into the left ventricle by going through this valve. This valve can be called the bicuspid valve, or it can be called the mitral valve, bicuspid or mitral. And it also has got chordae tendinae, which attaches the valve to muscles, which are called papillary muscles. The valve between the left ventricle and the aorta is difficult to see, but it's right there, number 45, and that is the aortic valve. 